one of those painful mornings, you know, the day starts off, set the alarm for quarter to six p.m. So I woke up at quarter to seven, which is still not too bad. And then there was a lot that I still had to do this morning that probably should have done last night. And uh, beers got flowing and that was that. He's been a pain in the ass this morning. Uh, Chester's down there with me. And there were some technical difficulties with the electronics over there. We got the uh, ice fishing deucer station set up. But nonetheless, we're here right now. It's still calm. It's still early. Um, hopefully the motor starts within the first couple of pulls, and we'll see you guys out in the water. Feels good, finally dropping a line in, holy smokes. So hopefully the engine noise is not too much, but basically what we're doing is ice fishing here. We're in the boat, we're vertical jigging. We got the actual ice housing with the Helix 7 running right now. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here we go, come on. We got a chase. Big mark. Big mark. Oh. So that's what just happened there. Thought we were definitely hooking up. I get the juices flowing in the morning. Holy smokes, that thing came at me like a rocket. Oh. It's not expecting that at all on the reel up. I was just trying to find my lure on the screen again. That's a lake chart. I was a betting man, I'd say lake trout. Oh baby. Could be a decent one too. Oh yeah, it's a big boy. Nice. It's a good laker. It's a really good Laker. Ooh, baby. Okay, let's take a look at this bad boy. So we're just jigging here in 70 feet of water. Got my boy Chester here. 
We're sleeping on the net job, but that's okay. <laughs> He's just starting out. Oh yeah. This is the fish we were looking for this morning. Look at that. Beautiful lake trout to start the weekend. After all the issues we were having too, this fish feels so good. Wow, just a beautiful lake trout. What do you think, buddy? Hit the smoker with this bad boy. So just dispose of that fish. I like to bonk them, cut the gills, bleed them out. Uh, makes the meat significantly better. No blood in them. Much less fishy tasting. And now uh, it's floating in the in my makeshift live well, as in the net. We're gonna see if we can catch a couple whiteies um, to take home as well. If not, any Lakers we catch will be released from that one. And of course, the fish came on. This is the natural minnow. 14 gram vibrato. One of my favorite lures of all time for lake trout. All right, well, unfortunately we didn't, couldn't buy a white fish today. I mean, that's the way she goes sometimes. We had a really, really rough start to this morning, so I'm just really happy that we got one in the boat. We were out here for about maybe an hour and a half, two hours. So we're gonna go home. We're gonna clean this fish up. We're gonna cook this fish up. Everybody? The hair over 24 inches. Beautiful. Perfect eater. Gonna be big old fillets off this girl. Alright guys, here we have a beauty 25 inch Laker. I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how I like to uh, fillet them up. So first thing I do is I make an incision right behind the gill plate, just like that. There you turn the blade. And go straight down the backbone and you'll be able to hear it. Look at that slab of meat. Now with Lakers, I like to leave the skin on, they don't have any scales. So you cook them with the skin on just like it was a salmon. Last thing to do is you take the ribs out. We have it. Fat lake trout filet. Ready for the smoker. point you do have the pin bones which run right down the center so I actually leave the pin bones in until after I cook them they just pull it right out right out of the oven smoker whatever your choice of cooking them is but check that out farm fresh baby look at the color on that meat just beautiful so from here We'll clean the meat, we'll season the meat, and we'll leave it in the in the fridge. And uh, we'll get the smoke ready for tonight.
Say that again. <laughs> no. It's still a little wet. And the hat dryer. Beauty. It smells like fish. Just stop eating the tomatoes. Probably not bad for him. Hey. Come on. Nice harvest. One more time, it's gonna be a lemon, garlic, butter, butter herb, <laughs> trout recipe. Obviously, this is not the smoked trout that I was talking about. Um, that was my dad's fault. He went ahead and cooked the fish without me. I don't know if I was sleeping or what the deal was. So it was a couple days later. We're back home in Ottawa now and we have the second half of our fish. So we're gonna bake it. To be honest, I think I actually preferred baked trout over smoked trout. So we'll see how she turns out. Fatty pieces of butter. One, two, and three. Perfect, yeah. Cooked at 350 for probably 16 to 20 minutes. We'll have to check in on it around 16 minutes. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Literally about to have the storm of the summer. We've got tornado warnings in the Ottawa area. Hasn't stopped thundering since the past like 45 minutes, been non-stop. So we'll see, it could be a good night. The reveal. Oh, that's not the right light. How's that? Garlic butter and herbs and lemon <laughs> roasted veggies and rice and Some wind out there, but that is delicious. Mm. <laughs> that tomato? Oh, big lightning. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> close the light so we can see. <laughs> if you live in the Ottawa area, stay safe and we'll catch you on the water next time. <laughs>